In this video, I'm going to be discussing about the treatment for chronic insomnia. So first, what is chronic insomnia? So this is a disturbed sleep, poor sleep, impaired sleep for at least three nights a week and for more than three months, three months or more. So what is the best form of treatment for this? The best form of treatment for chronic insomnia is something called as cognitive behavioral therapy for insomnia or in short CBTI. I'm Dr. Manmeet Bhatia, a senior neurologist and a sleep specialist with more than 30 years of experience. I've treated thousands of patients with a combination and with CBTI and helped them with the, their sleep problems with the ultimate aim to sleep better. So here I'm going to just mention what is or what are the components of CBTI. So first of all, CBTI is a group of things that are encapsulated together so that it deals with the thoughts, behaviors, and habits which are interfering with sleep. The, there are five important sections or components of this. First is something called as sleep hygiene. We will go over these in a little bit detail in the following videos, but here I will just mention briefly. Sleep hygiene is just a set of rules that one of behaviors that one follows so as to get good sleep. So some of them, the chief ones being a fixed time for bedtime and wake up, make sure that you get adequate exercise during the day, switching off gadgets at least one hour prior to bedtime, keeping the room environment clean and neat and good temperature. So this is just a set, simple set of rules. The next one is something called as stimulus control. In that, we talk about the bedroom to be used only for sleep or for other activities for night, but not to be used for working all through the day, eating in the bed at, during the day, and such activities. This has particularly become important from this work to home that everybody's in, that most of the activities which involve the whole day have been shifted into the in the bedroom. So please, that is called as uh, stimulus control to avoid doing things in the bedroom, which are not really necessary to be done in the bed. The third one is something called as sleep restriction, and which is what most people do, that they lie in bed for long periods trying to get good sleep. So either before falling asleep or in the morning after waking up. So in this, we say that the time in bed should be equal to the time asleep, and that's sleep restriction. The next one is something called as relaxation. Some relaxation techniques. Um, this could be deep breathing, a pranayam, a shavasana, a alternate muscle contraction relaxation, some visualization. So these can be in more detail in the next few sections. And the most another very important one is called as cognitive restructuring, meaning uh, as the insomnia becomes longer and longer duration, patients have a habit of associating everything that is right, wrong with the sleep. That means that if I do not sleep, I will not be able to work. If I don't sleep, I will be irritable. So this association becomes very strong. And we need to delink this and say that you focus on the day and uh, disconnect this thought because this thought perpetuates what is called as a poor sleep. Uh, but I agree, this is confusing. There are these five components which again have their own set of rules, let's say. But the most important thing is that we do what is called as personalized medicine. So if an individual is having a problem with relaxing before bedtime, then we teach them relaxation. 
But if somebody is lying in bed for three hours waiting for sleep, then we focus on sleep restriction. And if somebody has thoughts and in addition is moving their bedtime and wake time, then we focus on sleep hygiene and relaxation and cognitive restructuring. So thus, to conclude, I want to say that CBTI is the best form of treatment for insomnia. It has long lasting results, um, but we do need patient cooperation and we need to understand which component of what to focus on for each individual patient. It's not a one size fits all and it's not right that um, we give about 10, 20 rules and ask people to follow. So I do hope that this will help you to understand this treatment, but it is by no means a self-help that I can start doing CBTI myself. Thank you for your attention. 